Lake of Fire, real or myth? The doctrine of Christianity. You must believe Je that Jesus died for your sins, and you must be baptized, and you must obey the Bible blindly without questioning it. And if you don't, if you reject Jesus in the Bible, you'll be thrown in like a fire on the final day of judgment. That's basically what Christianity is. But I am here to tell you that the lake of fire was not an original Christian idea. <clears throat> this idea was stolen from the Egyptian Book of the Dead, which was written 2500 BC. Basically, the Egyptians also believed in an afterlife way before Christianity was even invented. They believed if you were pure from all of the 42 negative confessions, you would be granted eternal life. And if you were found guilty of committing any of the 42 negative confessions, your soul, your heart, really will be eaten by admit the devourer, and your soul will be cut cast to a lake of fire. This was called to die a second time. This idea came straight from Egypt's Book of the Dead. Like I mentioned before, it was written 2500 BCE. Revelation, the Book of Revelation, the book in the back of the Bible. It was written 390 A.D. Now, if you compare the two, they sound so similar. In fact, Revelation copied everything from the Egyptian judgment. If your holy book takes from mythology, your holy book becomes mythology. Now, your lake of fire has just been squashed. It's just been eradicated with the water of truth. So there. Now, if you think I'm wrong, look it up. Look it up. Look up everything. Look up where the lake of fire came from. Look where it came from. Look it up. Anyway, that's all I have to say today. Rate, comment, subscribe.